Hello Taurus. Thank you so much for checking me out here on my YouTube channel. I am here to provide insight and guidance for you guys for the month of July 2019. This is going to apply to your sun, moon, or rising. Um, and of course, if you have Taurus and other parts of your birth chart. Um, if this reading does not resonate for you I or resonate with you, I suggest that you take a look at my other readings. But of course, you need to know what other zodiac influences you have in your chart to see how it may resonate. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of introspection for you guys uh, for the month of July. That's it's, it's what it seems like. Okay. Um, Taurus, you could be dealing with a father fi figure or a father figure is a focus for you um, for the month of July. Uh, you could be an older person as well, so maybe the focus is on you. Um, but I see here that there is um, a concern or a focus on stability, okay? Because we have two number fours here at the end, um, on each end here. So we have the emperor card and we have the four of pentacles okay with the strength card in the middle so it's going to be a call for you guys to um, stand strong understand that um, you create your own stability okay you have the ability to create your own stability <laughs> ability to create your own stability how about that <laughs> so stand strong continue to push forward okay um, if you are needing assistance or needing um, help uh, with your foundation or your stability, okay, um, you have to let go, okay, because if you're needing help from other people, you have to let your guard down. You can't be so stubborn or controlling. That's for some of you, okay. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries person. Or you could have Aries in your chart or you could be dealing with the Leo person, okay. Um, it seems like the Leo is um, a focus here. Um, the Leo could be helping you. All right, it could be your like your right hand man or your right hand woman, this Leo person, or an opposite sign, Leo, opposite sign is Aquarius. Okay, I don't want to get too deep into that. But if you're needing assistance, if you're needing help, you're gonna have to loosen uh, the reins a bit. For some of you, Taurus, you can be very controlling. Okay, so it's a call for you to take a look at yourself, take a look at your inner beast, and try your best to. Um, Soften, soften up a bit. Be more gentle because you come off as very controlling or and, and very um, aggressive. It seems like okay. You could have Leo in your in your birth chart as well, um, but I see this as it's like you're coming off as like this emperor, somebody that's in control, somebody that runs things. Okay, you could be the head of your household. Okay, and just because it's an emperor doesn't mean it can't be a woman. This could be a woman as well. So it's like you are in control of things. Okay, but it's a call for you to you know try your best to like soften, soften yourself a bit, be a bit more gentler with yourself, be more gentler with other people. Try your best to release your need to control. Okay, um, it could be also that you're holding on to a Leo. You're refusing to let this Leo person go. Okay. Um, or they're refusing to let you go. Someone's holding on to someone. Okay. Um, but if you're needing help, you're needing assistance, you know, just because you're an emperor doesn't mean that you, you, you won't need assistance or you, you can't receive help. You know, if you, if you need the help, ask for it, you know, but you have to loosen the control, okay, and let down your, your pride and your ego, okay. Um, I'm also seeing here that, um, yeah, this earth, a lot of earth in here, so I see that this is you. Um, I see that you're going to be slow <laughs> to making these changes, but you're going to be making some changes, but it's, you're going to be very slow to making these changes. Um, there is a Virgo that's here as well. So you could be dealing with a Virgo because we have the Hermit card at, at the center of the reading, at the heart of the reading. So you could be trying to make an offer to a Virgo person, okay? And they're just trying to check you out. They don't know if they should take it or not. They're just kind of like, okay, I don't know if I want to accept this from you because 
you know you you haven't kept your word before okay or it could be the other way around you could be this hermit person and you're being very cautious about this offer or about this person that's coming in it, it seems as though you're trying to protect your world you're trying to protect your sanctuary so you're coming off as very controlling over your environment and who you let in okay so there is a message coming in to you okay um in regards to money or just an offer okay i see coming in but you're just taking a look at it very clearly you're not you're not jumping the gun um just yet okay and as you should because you need clarity you need you need um understanding of what you're getting yourself into okay when dealing with this person or accepting this offer okay um but i see that you're going to be very guarded um, for the for the month of July, just very guarded, very protected, um, somewhat even isolated in a way. Okay, so for some of you, Taurus, you're going to be very isolated. Um, I'm hearing disappear off the scene for a little bit. I'm hearing that. I don't know, maybe just going within yourself or just, you know, taking a trip on your own and just um, blocking people out. I see that you're going to be doing that for the month of um, July or it could be a person that you're dealing with they're choosing to um, be closed off to you okay and it could leave you feeling frustrated and confused okay you could have felt like okay we're been, we, we're moving forward and now we're moving backwards again or now things have slowed down we're moving fast and we're you know getting things going and now it's, it's slowed down okay um, what else am I seeing? You also could be dealing with a I mean any other earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with the Cancer. You also could be dealing with the air sign person, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or another water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see a Leo here as well. Okay, so um what else am I seeing? So it's really important that, um, Taurus, that you continue to move forward, continue to take um, control over your life, not control over others, okay? It's going to be um, baby steps for you guys, but just understand you have to continue to move forward. Um, also on your mind, you have something that you're, you're holding within and you're not sharing with someone, okay? Um, or you're not expressing. So there's something on your mind, and it could be that there's an earth sign person or an earth sign energy person that's on your mind, but I feel like um, it's really a call for you to change this around. Um, be really expressive to what's on your mind and how you feel, so you don't have to continue to be guarded all the time, okay? We can be open, we can get to know people, um, and, we can, and we can, you know, engage and have fun, but it doesn't mean that we have to you know, how can I say this? Um, you don't have you don't have to let every let people know everything about you, but you can still put yourself out there. I don't know why I didn't just say that in the beginning. I don't know why I'm even having a brain fart. Jeez. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is like my sixth reading, so um, let me get with it. Okay, so. On your, there's something that you're holding within. There's something that you're not expressing. And it's really important that if it has something to do with a relationship or a partnership, whatever the case may be, that you try your best to be a bit more open. Okay. Also be open to change as well. You may be resisting change mentally, but you're not acting like that on the outside. Okay. That's for some of you. Um, but wherever the situation is, um, you know, continue to move forward. Uh, take control of your life and not others. Um, with this chariot card here um i feel like your emotions for some of you are going to be running high they're like kind of up and down for some of you so it's just really a call for you to take a look at that um do your best to uh, seek clarity and not confusion okay uh, seek the truth of the situation um, you could be dealing with the cancer person and they can come off as being like all over the place so, you know, it's really important that you open up the lines of communication, find out where, where they stand, okay? Because you could be dealing with the cancer person for some of you. Um, you also could feel as though they're hiding something, okay? Or this cancer person may feel as though you're hiding something from them. 
right? Um, but yeah, I see that you really are trying to hold on to someone. You're trying to hold on to this cancer person or somebody with a, a Venus in cancer um, in their chart or just the energy. It's like you're, you're wanting to hold on to this person or this person is wanting to hold on to you. And it's like this is a solid relationship, a solid foundation I'm seeing here. Okay, but just try your best not to have control over each other, all right? But I feel like your spirit, you're going to feel one with your spirit. You're going to feel as though um, you have an understanding that you're able to express yourself, okay? Um, express yourself to your partner more openly. I feel like some of you are going to be taking the lead. You're guys, you guys are going to be doing some um, internal or inner reflection, Okay, um, working on yourselves and therefore it's going to bring a sense of harmony within yourself, balancing your masculine and feminine energy or bringing balance into uh, a relationship. Okay, I, I definitely see that as well. Um, anything else I'm seeing? Um, 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 um. But yeah, with this Hermit card, it, it could be um, a call for you guys to, you know, take some time out, you know, do some introspection, um, take some time out to be alone, okay? Um, if that's not the case, it's going to be a call for you guys to really do some soul searching. And it's going to require you to, to find that strength within yourself, to look within yourself, to see your ego, to see the shadow side, to see all of it, and, and be real with yourself. You know, and also cut out what no longer serves you. OK, there's something that needs to be um, removed and it's within yourself. And you have to really find out what that is. It could just be that you're wanting to be controlling. OK, or you're having a hard time opening up. You don't want to open up. So it, it could be a call for you to change that about yourself. Work on that so your emotions can flow. And so you can be in a relationship with other people and you can have those heart to heart without feeling as though if I let someone in, they're going to hurt me, okay? You can create healthy uh, boundaries, okay? You can create healthy boundaries. Nothing's wrong with that, okay? If someone's wanting to get to know you, yes, you can be cautious about it and see what their intentions are. Get to know them at bay. You don't have to bring them completely into your world. You can get to know someone um from afar even you can get to know them from afar you don't have to bring them into your world but you can get to know them you know but i think taurus you're very wise i think that you guys are um know when someone is trying to um run game so uh, but don't think that everybody's like that okay because you could be holding on to beliefs that no longer serve you anymore okay and therefore, these beliefs that you're holding on to, you're holding on to, can make you feel as though you're isolated, or it can isolate you from other people because of these beliefs you have. All right. So, let's see. How we're doing with time? Oh my God, I'm like going over. All right. Um. Um, I also see Taurus as a cancer that's moving towards you, that's um, going to be confessing to you how they feel, okay? They're going to be letting you know how they truly feel, all right? But I feel like this cancer person may try to possess you a little bit. There's like a um, energy of them wanting to control you a little bit, okay? Maybe because they feel so passionately about you, okay? But that's for some of you. Okay, so, um, oops. So, Taurus, what do you need to be aware of going forward in the month of July 2019? What do you need to be aware of going forward? What do you need to be aware of going forward? What do you need to be aware of going forward? Okay. All right. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here. Nine of Wands is uh, Moon and Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So basically going forward, so Taurus, you cannot give up, okay? Despite what you're going through and your situation in the month of July, do not give up. Continue to persevere. And this is like my Wounded Healer card. So 
despite the bumps and scratches and being torn up, you continue to move forward, okay? Um, also, don't, also, don't give up on yourself, okay? There's still work that needs to be done, and we have two number nines here. The nine, Hermit is the number nine, okay? So it's just um, persevering, you know, not giving up on yourself, not giving up on your growth, okay? Continue to do the work on yourself, okay? All right, next card here. Seven of Cups. There's many options here. So as you continue to work on yourself, Taurus, you can trust and believe that you're going to have so many options on the table for you, okay? This is also a reminder to um, try your best not to get so caught up in your emotions, okay? Because we have two number sevens here. Um, in regards to a relationship, you know, you could get really caught up in your emotions and you could feel as though um, you're confused about which direction to take with this person, you know? And so what this card is really telling you is that there's you have many options, okay? And it's important that you choose the best option for yourself, okay? Um, choose an option that's going to bring you a sense of balance, that's going to bring you a sense of clarity as well. You don't want to choose something that's going to bring you more confusion, okay? So for instance, if you're dealing with a person that's, you know, not so honest or whatever the case may be, and they're just set in their ways and it's not serving you or the relationship. It may be a call for you not to choose this person. It may just be a call for you to, you know, venture out and continue to move forward, you know. And um, not necessarily to find someone else, but, you know, um, not settle for someone that's going to make you feel confused. Make you feel as though you don't know where you stand, okay. But it really could be any scenario. But you're going to have a lot of options going forward. It's just really about choosing the best option for yourself. And that's going to um, help you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay. Then we have the Five of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign person, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Okay. I didn't say this here. You could be dealing with a water sign person too or have this in your chart. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So this Five of Swords here. So going forward, you know, um, Taurus, it's not about win or lose all the time. It's not all, always about um, getting one up on the other person or being superior. So really watch out for that. Um, life doesn't have to always be about confrontations and conflict, but sometimes we are faced with a conflict. So when we are faced with conflicts or situations, yes, we need to stand our ground. We need to speak our truth, but don't do it merely out of just being petty or trying to get a rise out of someone. Okay. Uh, learn to pick your battles. You know, if you see somebody that's being negative, you don't have to feed into it. You don't have to uh, give an explanation all the time or defend yourself. You don't have to um, violate vibrate on that frequency that that person's vibrating on okay so it's really about choosing your battles okay and also sometimes you may have to go toe to toe with someone and not for the sake of being petty but just standing your ground and saying you know what no you're not going to treat me this way or whatever or expressing how it is expressing um what you want to express at that time you know don't let somebody hush you or, or silence you okay but like I said, it's really about picking your battles and not, you know, just um, arguing for the sake of arguing to, to just to be right. OK, so really watch out for that. OK. Um, and your mind, you know, watch out for, for your thoughts as well. OK, so what else am I getting from this? Am I getting anything else? Um... I don't think I'm getting anything else. Damn, it's like you've been through a ringer. You've been through some shit. You've been through confusion. You've been through the fights. It's like I'm still standing strong, okay? And it's like you could experience this too going forward. Confusion and conflict. But still stand strong, okay, Taurus? Okay, the card is rebirth. So we got rebirth here up in the house. And this is what the, the hermit's about. The hermit is about rebirth as well. Okay. It says, no matter what. No, no matter what happens. <laughs> brain fart. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past 
accept the positive change that is coming wow that is amazing okay so no matter what happens you can find new wings okay and I thought I saw wings in one of these cards and I don't no no wings okay well that's gonna conclude the reading for Taurus um, I hope you guys liked it um, if you would like to book a reading with me feel free to send me an email and I will put that in the description box below and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.